So we know what ADC is, analog to digital conversion, and we know a little bit about how to make it work. So let's take a look at the circuit and how that circuit needs to be wired. For our first circuit, we're going to be using the internal temperature sensor. So we don't actually have to plug in anything to any of the, the ADC ports. We're going to be using channel 16, which is the temperature sensor. But first we need to provide power to the analog power supply and the analog ground. So we'll connect pin number 12 to the minus rail or the ground rail. And we'll connect pin number 13 to the plus rail. Let's plug in pin number 12 to the minus rail first. The blue side, this top one, is the minus rail. Okay, now we're going to take the number 13 and plug it into the positive rail. Actually, I'm going to move this one down just a little bit. Okay, let's take number 13 and plug it into the positive rail. I think I'm going to take it to the positive rail first, so I can plug it into the right position. So I have number 13 plugged into the positive rail, and number 12 plugged into the negative rail. Let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to call this ADC Tutorial. You can see it's going into the user's phood co-ide workspace folder. We know we need the C library. And we'll need the, the cube lib. And the kubelib will automatically put in the CMSIS core for us. So we can see that we have our C library, our CMSIS core, and then our kubelib cube library. Now there's another library that we need, or actually not a library, but it's a, it's a header file. And that was from our previous project for the LCD, because we're going to be showing some LCD We're going to be showing some data on the LCD from the ADC. So we'll go to the workspace folder and we can see that the ADC tutorial is here. So I'm just going to go to the tutorial one, the LCD tutorial, which I have where, where I actually have my header file. Where is that header file? Let's see. Here it is. Okay. It's under the app folder. I'm just going to do a copy control C or do a copy. I'm going to go to ADC tutorial and I'll go to the app again here and then paste. Okay. So I should have it in here. Let me see if I can refresh. Doesn't seem to want to go in. Well, let's see. I'm going to double click on the main. Let's see if I can include it. Let's try. Oh, we still have that other problem that we have to work out first. And that was the STM HAL conf config.h. It would be nice if they ever fixed that. So it should be under the components, Kuhox master. Can't remember where it is. It's under test, I think. Yeah. Control C, do a copy, and go back to the source, and I'm going to paste it here. And that should be good. Okay, so let's try to compile it again. Okay. All right, so the reason, I think the reason why I got those errors is because I didn't include the, the correct include for the, for the actual chip because you can see that it says GPIO A is undeclared. And that's a part of, the, that's a function from the chip. That's a, that's from the chip header file. And that is, that would be located in here. So we can include, let's 
So STM 32F0XX.H. I'm going to put it above this one because it needs to it needs to actually load the the registers for this microcontroller before this one actually uses it. I could put this include into the LCD functions, but I'm going to need them in my main code anyway, so I'm just going to keep it this way for now at least. Okay, I'm going to make some pseudocode that I can use to tell me what I need to actually program. So we're going to do a calibration, an ADC calibration, obviously. And then I'm going to select a clock source for the ADC. I need to enable the ADC and then start the conversion. I think I want to put the start, uh, I want to put the conversion within the while loop because I want it to convert continuously, constantly do conversion so I can show the data on the LCD as the sensor changes its data from the conversion. Let's go ahead and do a build just to see if I have any issues. And it looks like it's successful. So the inclusion of this header file was correct and the LCD functions work as expected.